in five plant species are threatened with extinction. Deforestation problem here is a big issue. It's been emitting more carbon for the last 10 years than it has been storing. And this is a big, big shot. I think it's very important to be crystal clear that so far we are losing the game. But there is hope. We can use the nature to heal our planet. Welcome everyone to the Exponential Climate Action Summit 5, Nature in the Race to Zero. You can't get to where you want to get with 1.5 degrees unless nature plays its full role. This is the question of regeneration. The lessons that we've learned from Silicon Valley are really about taking solutions that are proven, technology that works uh, today, and figuring out how to scale those solutions up uh, to, the, to the world. Kathleen, thank you for being here. Tell us just a little bit about what it means for Earth Day today as it relates to Ukraine. Environmental crimes are now occurring every minute in Ukraine. Today is the 58th day of Russian military aggression in Ukraine. It's 58 days of horror, of tears, of losses of people all over Ukraine. All this has major damages to infrastructure, but also to the nature. When we're talking about the environment, we're talking about livelihood, we're talking about clean air, we're talking about clean water, safe urban areas, um, public health, food systems. There is no peace building without restoration or preservation of the environment. In a good sense, we hope that many countries all over the world, including my own country, would aim to reduce dependence on fossil fuels as much as possible. One percent of GDP redirected toward the best solutions would be enough to lower global temperature. As much as we want to engineer geological solutions, man-made solutions to sequester carbon or to utilize carbon, we have the best engineered design ever. Trees. Forest restoration is the climate solution that is immediately scalable. We have planted, uh, I think, 721,000 trees all over the world. Within just over 20 years, that forest is now a closed canopy forest. Colobus monkeys have moved back into the site. Regenerative agriculture has that promise to not only feed the world, but to really mitigate the climate crisis that we're in. Instead of asking the question what we have to give up, I would ask the question, what do we have to do to get our lives better than we see today? And you may say to yourself, oh, well, what, my, what can my voice do? But small holdings can have outsized influences. Doing right for the planet is actually good investment acumen. We bring together the leading innovators, transformers and disruptors, taking action in line with the 1.5 ambition. It became the second most watched film in Netflix history. In fact, now you see the climate movement embracing a slogan, just look up. I'm from an apparel brand um, that have, has managed to transform from linear to circular. And by using our technology and in connection with the local uh, villagers and, and, and sending them messages and so on, uh, the survival rate of the saplings increased from 40% and doubled up to 80%. We every year sell heat exchangers that reduce energy use by around 50 gigawatts. And it also corresponds to 25 million tons of CO2 reductions every year. When you see a climate action happen, Go to We Don't Time, give them climate love, because that will have others want to do the same. This year, we also commemorate 50 years since the first UN conference on the human environment was held in Stockholm. We think that the next decade is decisive, and the first immediate step is Stockholm Plus 50. I was just on the Stockholm Plus 50 leadership dialogues, and I called out to leaders once again we need action. The issue is, are we willing to take that into the voting booth, into the boardroom, into how we invest, into how we live, into how we travel? We need to make a mind shift. And you, policymakers, need to make a mind shift. And now, of course, we see Stockholm Plus 50 as sort of a step towards also to COP27 in Egypt. So together, let's get to work. Thank you. And aloha.